Hey there, guys. Guess what? It is Emba. Hey there guys, my name is Gia. Welcome back. Today I will be sharing 10 tips that I think that I think you need in order to survive the festive season financially. So I don't know I give up in this. Let's get into the video. Yeah, so like I said earlier, I've compiled 10 tips that things that I use personally um, in order to survive the festive season right into January. Um, January is my birthday month. So I always ensure that I'm not like, like dead on broke. Like you can't do anything sort of thing. So I hope that these tips help you guys in the comment section. Please put down the tips that you guys use uh, for figuring out your cash during the festive season. Maybe I might be able to use some of those in the upcoming year i'm still a young adult meaning that i just graduated not too long ago so i'm still trying to figure out how to you know navigate my way through this finance thing especially when people are like super happy and just want to spend you know so yeah um yes i think i should start here so my tip is that you always need to remember that if you do not get a bonus even though i think it applies across the board you always need to remember that your december salary this yeah your december salary is supposed to last you till the end of january and sometimes what happens is that people get paid earlier they get paid earlier than what they usually do i mean the 25th is a christmas day the first is a, so usually the times when people are getting paid those are holidays so what employers do they pay people much earlier sometimes with the, it comes with a bonus sometimes not so you need to always remember that that salary must last baba it must last till the end of january so if you go ham if you go crazy and you 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 will make it you you will make it yes so if you get a bonus it is very very important to budget 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 you need a thorough budget um stipulating what it is exactly that you want to do because now you've got what two months salary isn't it a 13th check is your salary salary again you know so you've actually got a chance at survival but what usually happens is that people buy electronics and we're buying four watermelons and we're just doing the most sometimes people are doing sensible things they closing off debt and all of that but i just think it's very important to write down what it is exactly that you want to do with your money so that you're not just doing things blindly you can't keep track of what went away and or you think that actually instead of doing this now i could have done one now and one next month or at the end of february um tip number three uh i have here you need to save prior for big christmas spends uh let's say you were looking to buy a washing machine or you were looking to go away with your family those are things that you need to save for you can't say you're going to use your 13th check on that unless you've got backup but i think the safest thing that you can do is save save throughout the year for these things if you want to have an extravagant festive season you need to start saving prior so that you're not stressed after your extravagant festive season that oh man i actually don't have the money to do this so i think it's very wise for you to start saving prior like you know and the nice thing about these savings accounts and these investments account uh, accounts and these 30 day 60 day 90 day savers is that you actually get interest 
interest on on the money that you've saved so i really think that that is important uh tip number four buy your groceries buy your groceries because okay let me start like this what usually happens for some of us i'm not from the i'm not from Gauteng, is that we go home but we forget that we need to come back <laughs> <laughs> we forget that we need to come back and come back to work and all of that and what happens is that you box all your money at home and then when you come back you have nothing mm, this one's good yeah so it's very important I what I do is that my salary that comes in at the end of november i buy groceries for december i buy groceries for december but i buy okay so i'll buy like the groceries for when i'm here which would include like fresh stuff as well but for when i'm not here i'll buy like dry stuff like your tin food your 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 staples you know all that stuff I want to say carbohydrates, but I actually just want to say pop. <laughs> um, so yeah, whatever that you can buy, that you can freeze, that you can put away, you know, that won't go off. Listen, whatever you need to keep you going, you can't be hungry in December. I mean, in January. Yo, guys, tip number five, hey. Nam, I, I also fail, um, but I'm learning. That's what's important. I'm learning let's all learn i'm learning <laughs> um you need to budget for the big events that you go to during the festive season whether it be a big party whether you're going to um a wedding you need to budget for that because what usually happens is that for example with me my friends live far and wide i need to travel there when i get there i need accommodation i need to eat then i still need to go to that event i need to buy a gift say for example if it's a wedding you you can't be thinking that you're going to use the remnants of your salary in december after you pay your bills to go and execute things like that comfortably of course you're going to come back without any money or with like less money than you would have wanted to come back with so it's very important to save during as soon as the person gives you an invite and says i have my wedding it's going to be in december you need to start saving towards ensuring that you are comfortable that you are comfortable at that event and that you can you've got financial freedom you can do whatever you want with your money tip number six avoid last minute spending avoid last minute spending only do it if it's really really important because what usually happens is that you'll go into a shop and say hey i'm looking for a top or even hey i'm looking for a toy for my niece or for my nephew or hey yazin i'm going to buy watermelon and what happens during the festive season it's like there's something in the air you come out with like three five ten items hey 15 some people really they just knock it out the park 20 items <laughs> you're coming out there uh with and and that's not okay you actually need to think through why you're buying this why you didn't or think prior i actually want to get this item budget it and you know do that or have saved enough during the year that you actually have a certain amount of money that is there for all these things that just spring up because i understand things just come up sometimes so it's very important to either have that or to actually you know think think clearly about the things that you want to buy that you didn't want to buy prior tip number seven buy Christmas presents throughout the year. Wait, don't laugh. <laughs> don't laugh. <laughs> There's a method to my madness, okay? The people that you're buying Christmas presents for, it'll be so much cheaper buying these Christmas presents throughout the year because a lot of the time, Christmas presents are quite pricey. And if you're going to buy them during the festive season, whoo! If you buy your Christmas presents throughout the year, say your brother wants an iPad, you whoever, listen, even if you're going like cheap and you're, or you, the people that want certain things from you, those items are not quite expensive. 
even that way you've got peace of mind if you're gathering these things from september you get me if you're gathering these things from around black friday i mean black friday is a thing sort of yeah um if you start gathering those items from then then you will have you know peace of mind during december you know you've got all your gifts also minimize the number of people you buy gifts for guys hi 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 uh -uh. tip number seven cap the amount of money that you're going to use at turn up it's the festive season there's parties everywhere it's in the air once again it's in the air everyone's happy it's nice to be out the events are great cap the amount of money that you're going to spend at an event because what usually happens in the festive season and in spring is that it's these outdoor events where you have to pay the price for the ticket then as per usual you must get yourself there if you're going far you must get accommodation you need to cap the amount of money that you're going to spend there on your drinks and on your food if you want it to be 300 rand if you want it to be 400 rand hell if you want it to be 150 200 you need to ensure what i usually do i draw money i draw money um yes i have my cards with me but i don't i don't touch my cards you just draw your money you know you cool you know because it's so easy especially when you're happy when when the drinks are flowing and everything it's so easy to just ah shoot just be swiping and the following day you regret it because you had things other things that you wanted to do with that money and now you're not able to do uh, them anymore tip number nine was actually supposed to be tip number one pay your bills pay your bills that that phone that you have that is on contract you still have it right you're using it you need to pay for it your apartment that you're renting you're coming back right so you need to pay for it um everything that you have uh, any any clothing accounts or your credit card or whatever pay your bills but i think you know what it goes unsaid but i just had to say it it's something that you really have to do you know pay your debts uh, or whatever that's due pay whatever that's due tip number 10 don't flex guys it's so painful to watch like don't flex don't flex don't be that person who's you know buying everyone everything you know who's who's got everyone i, I can tell you i don't expect that of every of anyone around me don't don't be that person because the following day we're not there we're gone we're gone my pocket is still full of money because you paid for everything and now you're going to go through the toughest time because you did something that you didn't need to do you know so don't flex don't be that person who's trying to save everyone or trying to have a good time with everyone it's okay to spend money on your loved ones great i'm talking about turn up situations also i'm just talking about like home price or whatever way you just doing more way more than what is required of you that for me that i don't i don't approve of that i don't think that's wise because later on you're the one that's stuck with the mess everyone's at home chilling they're great i'm so sorry this has just become such a mess in my hands but yeah guys tip number 11 i don't know if you guys realized i said i was gonna have 10 now i've got 11. all mocked up prices go back to their normal regular price after christmas after new year's you know we had a year where my mom was just like i'm not buying you guys christmas clothes and we did not understand but when the certain shop had a sale in january i think it was actually directly after christmas we got double the clothes that we would have gotten had we just bought that one outfit for Christmas Day, you know? So you need to remember that all prices go down after that. So whatever that you wanted to spend big bucks on, you'll probably spend just a little less, you know? I think much less than what you would have spent if you bought it on the 23rd, the 22nd. Just remember that prices go down, so it might be worth it, hooray.
it might be worth it that you 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 just hold back a bit for those big items and you get them um later with that being said <laughs> with that being said guys those are my tips for surviving the festive season i guess i'll have to give feedback as to whether i did survive the festive season um we're still going strong but then again it's what it's the 10th so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video uh please come back watch more if so guys